Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is how to simplify rational expressions, problem set three. All right, we're gonna try these examples right now. Okay, in the previous video I mentioned it's a four step process. First we wanna factor out the numerator and denominator. Then we wanna cancel out any common factors we see. Then we wanna simplify it by putting it all back together again. And then we just double check that we haven't made any mistakes. All right, let's go ahead and look at the first one together. And notice how the common factor here would be also a, it would be a two and it'd be an X. Okay, I'm gonna factor out a two X out of that binomial. And that should leave me with a five X on the inside. Match the subtraction sign there. And one. Okay, don't forget, it's not zero, it's one. Two X divided by itself leaves one. Then on the bottom I have, uh, again, it looks like I could factor out a two there and also an X. All right, what does that leave me with? Well, that would be a five X minus eight. All right, so obviously the two X, well, we can think of it as the two cancels with the two, X cancels with an X. In other words, 2x cancels with itself. And these are not the same binomial, okay? Um, I can't cancel out the 5x's because it's part of this whole entire binomial. So that should be my final answer right there. All right, I'm gonna work number 10, but you should um, hit pause on this video and try it before I show you, and we'll go over the answers. All right, if you're ready, we can go ahead and factor out a 10 from the numerator here. That leaves n minus one. And we can factor out a six, which leaves an n minus one. All right, so those n minus one factors are definitely gonna cancel, leaving with 10 over six. But of course, what I could have done uh, and what I'm doing right now is divide each of those by a two. So I can reduce that down to a five over three. Now it depends on, you should check your teacher, your textbook, if that's an acceptable answer or not. Since there is no variable parts left over, generally we take an improper fraction, just a regular improper fraction and make a mixed number out of it. So one and two thirds. All right, otherwise, if there are some variable parts, we would leave it improper. And number 11, it's a trinomial, so we're going to go ahead and factor it out as a product of binomials. And I notice, of course, the K would be the first part of each of those binomials. And I need to figure out my signs. There's going to be a plus and a minus because of that negative third term. And I want a leftover negative 1K middle term. So I look at the factors of 72 that are one apart. Um, obviously eight and nine is gonna work there. Now I just have to put the eight and the nine in the you know, proper spots. Uh, the nine should be negative because that's the bigger one and that will give me a negative one K. All right, so I did that kind of fast. I hope that makes sense, but it's gonna be K plus eight, K minus nine. Now when I factor this trinomial, it's gonna be another binomial times a binomial. And again, look at the factors of 18. That'd be one times 18, two times nine, three times six. And again, if it's a positive third term, the signs here have to be the same. It's a negative middle term, which means that these signs have to be both negative. All right, so we're gonna be adding two negative terms together to get that negative 11k middle term. Well, what pair of factors here add up to 11? That's right, two and nine. So let's say k minus two, k minus nine, 
and notice how this binomial cancels with that binomial and so my final answer k plus 8 over k minus 2. Notice how I don't need the parentheses anymore because I'm done. All right finally number 12 hope you're trying these yourself here notice the common factor would be 21 and that will leave me with a minus 1 and factor out a 9 which will leave me with a a plus 1 now can I do anything with a minus 1 binomial and a plus 1 binomial no I can't cancel out the a's or anything else but I can divide a 3 out of each of those so that'll leave me with a 7 on the top and a 3 on the bottom so it should be 7 times a minus 1 and 3 times a plus 1 so there we go that's my final answer all right hopefully these are good practice for you this is problem set three now we're getting a little more complicated I have one more problem set for you before your self quiz so in my um, YouTube channel math class with Terry V please do a search for how to simplify rational expressions problem set three and the self quiz later on all right there you have it I invite you to go to my website now mathpowerline.com or email me or give me a call the way I work best with students is live online in my classroom so if I can help you in any way answer some specific questions the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works all right study hard and take care